I've been having some thoughts. This is Mike Sai. Welcome to the Inequality Principle. I've been having some thoughts recently. All this Kanye stuff that's going on in the news. Man, I gotta rinse this off. <sighs> Be right back. Ah. Teach your kids the truth and they will not stray from the path. Okay, all this Kanye stuff that's been going on recently got me thinking. And it takes me back to when I first heard Kanye. The first song I ever heard from him was Jesus Walks. You know, and we always have this loose attachment to religion. From an early age, we'll go to church on Sunday, right? We'll dress well, we'll listen to the stories, we'll hear what it means. But then when it comes to actually applying it in our day-to-day -day lives, that's where the test comes in. Because you want to hear the new DMX song, and you want to listen to Ying Yang Twins, and you want to see the girls twerking, and you want to throw some money, and you want to turn up and get drunk. And it's just, a, it's just a dichotomy. And you see it with every single prophet in the Bible that they all deal with struggles, or whether it's wine, whether it's women, whether it's greed, whether it's lust. Uh, whether it's disobedience, whether it's anger, whether it's fear, they all deal with instances where the world or what they think they're seeking becomes overshadowed by the happenings of the world and they lose faith, whether it be for a brief period of time or whether it be until they learn an important lesson, they lose faith and they begin making mistakes in their lost faith. So I try not to be overly critical on individuals who jump into religion and then face some type of tumultuous time period, then jump out is because the point that you face the tumult, the, the, the hurricane is the devil trying to bring you back into his grasp. You always get challenged when you jump in on the initial point, because they know if you break through a certain area, there'll be no chance of them getting you. That's why the devil didn't come to Jesus until he was in the wilderness for 40 days, 40 nights, right? Then he comes when he's at his weakest, most vulnerable state and begins his attempt to seduce. So the devil knows when you're most vulnerable and when he can creep back into your life and make you fall back into your old ways. He knows the exact moment when to prod you to get you off your path and your purpose. The thing that's kind of upsetting is he's beginning to do these things when he has daughters and he has sons, he has children that are looking to him as an example. And he has his daughter on stage as he sings songs about big, big titty women don't fall out the sky. And then come to find out later, he said he was asking her about whether he should include it in this song. And it's strange because you're, you're listening to a mid 40s, late 40 year old man talk to his nine, eight year old daughter about whether he should sing about big titties in a verse of a song. Like, I understand trying to include your children in your, in your creative endeavors. And there's also, I can speak from experience, a level of childlikeness that comes in creatives that they can just never mature past a certain point just because they're so open to experience and so open to um, new information and new things of perceiving the world that they never get too set in any way. And they're always going to be like this little a child discovering new things. So I empathize with that part. But even understanding the immaturity on that side, it doesn't really equate to not knowing that you're still the adult in the room. 
and there there has to be an element of him not having people around him who can still hold him to a standard of appropriate behavior and decorum, especially when in the presence of children. And how are they going to perceive their father in his mid forties running around with his wife, suppose it, who he treats like a porn star, now starting a porn company after their mom got famous off of doing a porn video. What are what are they learning through these elements and these ideals being exposed to them? People will look at that and say, oh, that's not even related, but it is related when you see, hey, my mom made a billion dollars and she got the breakthrough from being with Ray J. And my dad loves porn and he's treating his wife currently like a porn star and all the women who I idolize and who I'm around and who I want to be like, they all were naked and they all were twerking on camera and they all were doing these sexually provocative things. And then how can you look your daughter in the face and tell her not to behave in the exact environment which you have her growing up around and that you have her engaged in? And it's this level of ultimate hypocrisy, right? Um... It's not even hypocrisy. I don't even know if Kanye is aware of what he's doing. It was some point after Yeezus when everything just went off the off the back end. And there's points and times where people just need to sit him down and tell him he's not making sense and he needs to stop talking. And he needs to understand that what he is saying and what he's reflecting on and what he is experiencing is psychosis. Just just blatantly like that. It's psychosis. He's extremely intelligent. He's extremely hardworking. He's extremely productive. So individuals like this who accomplish success, it's hard to tell them anything because they're like, what do I need to talk to you for? You have, I have billions of dollars and you don't. So what information can you possibly provide me that will expand what I already am? I'm the best at all these things. But his issue isn't his work ethic and it isn't his intelligence. It's literally insanity. And he's in denial that he is insane because most people who are away from God are insane. There's different levels of it, but you are insane when you behave in ways as an as a role model to your children that you would detest the ways that you are behaving as a reflection. And you would be disgusted if you were on the outside watching somebody else do the same things you are doing to be within the presence of it. And it brings into my mind that everybody needs somebody who knows them more than they know themselves in their circle who can tell them when they're messing up. Maybe not even, maybe not even far. I'll, I'll say this. Everybody needs somebody who when the megalomaniac comes out of them, say they're super successful, they're super rich, they're whatever. That, that ego, the demon which roots in every man's heart that when you give it too much power, you begin thinking you're God himself. When that thing roots up, you need an individual who has full command to punch you in your face and remind you that you're not God to put you in a full Nelson and remind you you're not God. You need, you need somebody who's like Khabib. You need somebody who's like twice your size, twice your skill, twice your strength, twice, whatever who can say you're not being who you are. This isn't you talking. This isn't your behavior. You're acting like a demon. And who that person can never discard with because that individual knows this individual has no other obligation than to make sure you remain humble. That's his main purpose. Kanye needs that in his life. He doesn't have it. You can tell by the way he runs around cities and, and gets in fight and has his wife parade around half naked in Venice getting getting uh, fellatio in a boat. This guy has not suffered physical consequences for actions in, in, a, in a long period of time. And who is in a circle when Kanye says, I want to get gray teeth installed in my in my mouth that look like. Uh. I don't know, titanium jaw, even though I don't know the health effects of removing my teeth and then injecting it with metal that might leach into my brain 
And now I'm talking like I got a mouthful of spit all the time. And I don't make any sense when I speak. And I'm denying the truth of God, even though I've been living in this world for a long enough time to realize that God is real. And I'm going back down the paths of Satan and all my music sucks. But people are so demonically possessed, they'll listen to it anyway. Nobody's in this corner able to say to him the truth. And this is coming from somebody who probably, I can rap probably 80% of Kanye's song from College Dropout onwards. All right? College Dropout onwards, some of his unreleased tracks. My, one of my favorite artists, one of the people I looked up to the whole time. And I have no negative. Uh, if we have to do a balance the scales of how much good he's done for society versus bad, I would tilt it towards good. Right. But his influence now. If you're still acting, you're still behaving. As a college frat boy, 22 at 48 or 44 or whatever, however old he is. Even if you're creative. It's worrisome because now you have children growing up, seeing you doing these things and you're influencing them in that environment. So Kanye needs to do some soul searching and some reflection because however this ends, it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well for him. It's not going to end well for his family. I don't know if he's trying to make a family with his current wife because he's been with her for how long and he told Kim he didn't want her half naked, but now he's parading his current wife around naked and using her as kind of a sexual muse to get whatever he's trying to get off. He, the, the girlfriend before her was a was a heroin addict or ex heroin addict. Like he's just he he's at this point where I believe Kim might have been too powerful of a personality. And had too much independent influence that he wants complete control over everything his women do. So if they're going to do something, they have too much to lose to do it of their own volition. And they'll just listen to what he says. And that's the paradigm in which he's living. And I don't even know him. But this is why people come up to him and ask him if his wife has free will and he gets offended. It's because everything is being portrayed to them through the media and through how he's making her dress and how he's making her perform, act with him in public when he knows spotlights on him. This is not how you treat somebody that you love and you care about and you want to respect their image and how they're perceived in the world. This is how you treat a concubine, a sex slave that you have under your control and has no personal autonomy for themselves. Whole world. So summarize everything I'm saying. Kanye, probably not gonna see this ever. Kanye needs somebody in a circle who will punch him in the face hard every single time he does some dumb, stupid nonsense that goes against God, that goes against the principles that God has instilled in his heart. And that reflects negatively on his role as a father and as a husband and as a leader and caretaker of children. If he's compromising the most important things in his life so he can make a horrible album with whoever that guy is talking about some carnival, talking about a carnival. You 44 years old screaming like a song sucks. I even listen to the song fully. Song sucks. Talking about some big titty, whatever, like, bruh. I ain't saying you got to grow up, but you got to know what phase you are in your life and adapt and respond accordingly. All right, that's it. Uh, this is my third one. I still got things coming. Um, I got about two more sure mics coming. I got the lights coming. Hmm, I got another camera coming. Y'all got to understand, man, I'm going to debt to do this. Deep debt. So, uh, excuse me, I'm all in. It's going to be a video a day. 
every day. And every day I'm going to learn something new, adapt it, learn thumbnails, learn how to edit, learn how to do commentary where I can actually display videos and show what I'm talking about. Besides just me being a talking head for 15, 20 minutes. Um, back forth, I'm probably going to get some outsource some help. See if I can get some people over here to set my, my system up a little better than I can. And give me some advice if there's people within the area that I'm around. Um, DC area, if anybody's around there watching these videos, I can use some help on this stuff. But that's all I got for right now. And a quality principle, appreciate y'all watching. Peace. And I need a way to get out of this setup without having to fall down every single time. I'm about to go to the gym. All right, peace.